What is up my herd? Welcome back to another Black Sheep TV production. Today we continue our Does It Drift video series where we purchase vehicles in the game. We'll go out drift right to car because we have a drift car. Alright? Let's do it. Today we do got something a little special. I'm actually genuinely excited once again. This is an old school episode. I've not driven these things for more than just a couple minutes and they were shocking to say the least. What am I talking about? I'm talking about another one in the blue corner, the Bravado Rat Truck. Now this thing has all kinds of customizations, all kinds, which is very awesome. It leaves a user with the creative ability a large amount of space to really show their creative abilities. In the red corner, we got the slam van, and there it is not slammed, it is not on bags. I did not bring it to Benny's. I just did the simple customizations to get it where we are. So which one of these two mamma jammas be the best? That's what we're gonna find out right now. We gotta flip a coin. Head to slam van, tails. Heads it is. Slam van, we start. And yes, it is gonna be one of the best sounding episodes we've ever had. Now, like I said, I did take a couple minutes to go drive around in circles in these cars, okay? And what I came to find out is they don't even need to be stanced. I mean, look at this thing. This is not stanced, you just see me spawn in. I didn't even hit the e-brake. I mean, come on now. This thing is literally one of the most drift-worthy vehicles I've ever ran into in GTA, and I never even stanced the dang thing. So, I do want to stance this thing. Uh, if you don't recognize the track, again, this is another one of my Jim Connor tracks, and it is not released. These tracks will be released in the future, guys. My heart is beating more and more rapid with every wheel that gets stanced. I don't know what to expect once this thing is stanced. I really don't. What if it was just the opposite? It was like the opposite, and now it just sucks. <laughs> Alright, so biggest thing on this one is I don't remember how the hell to do one section in it, so I'm going to mess it up every time I go through it. Just bear with me. Whatever. Not getting timed, I'm not on the pin, so that's how it is. There's one really technical section in this. Alright, enjoy the tunes. <laughs> Stance. I'm actually going to turn right back around. I'm going to tell you right away that stanced is the way to go on these tight courses. Maybe in the open course, we'll take it out to the parking lot here. We got her off the trailer. She's sitting in front of us. To start it off, the traction is slightly more on this, and the braking is slightly more. As I said, this is going to be one of the best sounding episodes we've ever had, if not the best sounding episode we've ever had in the Dozen Drift series. These things sound phenomenal. Let's tighten this circle up a little bit. So we are stanced up. 
and we're gonna go for this track, same one we was on. Proper term for unstanced. Not stanced, probably. Unstanced is the word, damn it. That's what we're rolling with. It is faster than the slam van, I will say that. Stanced, it's much much faster of a drifter. That slam van is a slow drifter. That's I guess those are the two points that it lost, is because it's such a slow drifter. Alright, so that's that's our excuses. This is not stanced. are real prevalent on the longer drifts. This is unstanced, of course. Let's not get let's not get our panties too wadded up here. Right now, it's lots of shifts and moans and groans right now. Once you know what you're looking for on that stance, it does show up a lot better. Uh, the front is a lot harder to see than the rear. All right, let's see if this thing handles this track any better, and then we're gonna get this thing a grade. really likes to straighten out and it's like the steering is so touchy on this thing. So this thing just does really poorly on this style of drift. Jim Gunn, it was amazing. This type of a track with the long drifts, nah, not so much at all. We'll try to come in with a little bit more speed on this one and just show you guys what it actually looks like, but I'm not the best high speed drifter. I don't like to do a lot of the slides. So cost, what are we getting out of this thing? Well, you're paying about 90,000. The engine and the transmission are only 11,000 each. Well, not each, I mean combined, which is, that's quite great. And the turbo itself is pretty affordable too, at about 22 or 23,000. So once you get it painted, you get the, you know, the tires and everything that you want to get on there, you're gonna be looking at about 80 to 90,000, which is not too shabby at all for what you do get out of it. Now, if you're looking to get long drifts like this, don't count on it, guys, don't count on it. Just expect a lot of frustration and spin outs. If you want to go in the Gymkhana or just take it down some alleyways and some streets and have some, uh, you know, a good time ripping up, uh, ripping up the neighborhood, let's just say. This is the Harley of drift vehicles here in the game. This thing is real loud, real customizable, and, uh, sounds great reacts great in a short and medium setting it, it's not going to do the long drifts like i said don't count on that for a second so cost what you're getting out of it you're getting a great chunk i mean i'm going to give this thing a 10 however in the driftability you've seen where it fails so it's going to only get a seven there it is you can't bring it on any type of long drifts you're just going to get frustrated beyond frustration that brings us into efficiency it does stance normally it's a little hard to see on the stance in the front so i'm, I'm you know it's that's pretty difficult it might be different if you have the fenders and whatnot so i'm not going to take anything off of that it is difficult to see in the front the rear stance is just fine if it is blowing up on you just shoot in the back right there and then it will of course stance normally so efficiency it is going to get a little hit i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 just for those couple little things that's still going to bring us to a pretty astronomical total of 25 and a half let's pull her on out and see what she's got this is not stanced <laughs>
probably will be new to you. I mean, if you think the Schwartz are slippery, these guys are real slippery. Oh! <laughs> yeah, count it. Count it. This is unstanced. I forget all about that. Let's go stance this thing. It's, a, it's, it's more of a, like a free mode for this car. It really is. In my opinion, anyways. Everybody's going to have a slightly different opinion. Let's go. Alright. So we are stance. Again, guys, the suspension in these things is stock. So look at how low it is after you stance them. If you lower these things all the way down, I can see these things pretty much riding on the ground. So, poor stance. Let's see what she has now. Both of the trucks kind of have a shifting issue. They, want, they really want to shift on you, you know? And I wanted to think in my head that this thing was going to be a lot better on this type of a track than the other one. I thought this would really kind of shine the one on top of the other. And everything. I want to say it's too much opposite to where this, the other one is outshining it, but it's like uh, they're competing so similar that it's... You know, I guess it's... it's you know, I might seem like I'm cutting corners by saying this, guys, but I'm actually going to score this truck exactly exactly the same. And not only am I going to score them the same, but I'm actually going to chop them a little bit lower. Instead of a 25 and a half, I'm giving them both a 10. I'm going to give them both, yeah, a both a 10 still in cost for what you're getting out of it. I'm giving them both a 7 for driftability, and I'm going to give them both a 7 as well for efficiency. They're different, but they're, the differences of what they are, they're, they're scoring so much the same. And I don't think that I gave the enough, I don't think I was quite enough of a stickler on the uh, on the rat truck. So I am gonna go with a seven, a seven, and a 10. That is gonna bring us then to a 24 out of 30. So all in all, these trucks are quite great. Um, they are kind of, I mean, I don't say they're both must-haves, I would pick one which was kind of shocking, you know, it was the first time for many in this Does It Drift series. First time we had trucks, first time I scored trucks, uh, first time I scored a head-to-head -head exactly the same. First time we took these things to numerous different tracks, I believe, anyways. And I hope that all paid off for you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely appreciate you guys out there. Again, we're still growing. I started this thing on April 3rd or 4th. So coming up on June 3rd or 4th is going to be my two-month start to this thing. There's no one else to thank but you guys. I definitely appreciate you sharing the videos. There's a couple of you. Shout out to you guys. Steve Kearns, Dirt Mode, Trill Nugs, Infection Plays, Elia Raymond. I'm just saying, I've seen those liking, commenting, subscribing. Well, not liking. I can't tell who likes and dislikes. But commenting, active members of our herd. Thank you guys. You guys are truly to thank. I know you guys thank me, but I'll keep them coming as long as you guys keep them coming. As always, guys, I appreciate you all. I hope you guys stay happy, stay positive, and we will speak to you next time.